Hello and good morning and welcome to our um, art history with Becca. I'm Becca and today is our last day of Delphian online um, classes and um, there's somebody in the chat that's already said that they're sad. I'm, I'm, I'm a little sad too. This has been a lot of fun learning with you guys and I've really enjoyed every minute of it and um, Thank you so much for all of you who have been here since the beginning and those of you who joined on later um, and have done a lot of classes. We really appreciate each and every one of our students and we've had a lot of fun learning with you. Um, so, all right, so today is art history with Becca. I'm Becca, if you don't know me already, and we are going to be talking about our, an art period called Art Deco and then we will be doing an art project at the end. And um, the art project at the end, um, you will need a, a ruler. You can just have kind of a, whatever kind of ruler you have around. I've got this little tiny guy that's see-through. Um, and then I've also got this triangle ruler um, if you don't have one of these, that's fine. You can just use your regular ruler. Um, and then you're going to want some paper. I have a whole stack of paper here. Um, and I am probably going to end up using just the black paper, not the green paper. This is the green paper. It doesn't show up with my green screen. Um, this is an Art Deco uh, kind of uh, pattern behind me. Um, and it's just a poo. Um, okay, so uh, some some paper, just some colored paper, some black paper, some white paper, whatever kind of paper you got. Um, and then I have a lot of different uh, kind of gel pens today, um, mostly because I wanted something that would write on my black paper. So I've got white gel pens, I've got some colored gel pens, I've got one that's kind of a gold color, um, I've got some pens that are kind of metallic silver color, um, even, Sharpie even makes uh, silver Sharpies, um, I don't know, if you probably don't have any of these around and these are permanent, um, but they're really cool if your parents will let you have one. Um, and then I also have a pair of scissors, I don't know if we're going to use these today or not. Um, <laughs> and they have a green handle. So they're catching the green screen too. Um, that's a lot of fun. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started um, here soon. Just wanna see who's on here. Oh, April, hi. Um, so nice to see you. Did I, I wanna thank April really fast. She sent me a letter and it had a picture in it and it was very sweet and I have it hanging on my wall at my house. So thank you so much for that picture. Um, if anyone would like to send in your artwork, you can email it to events at delphian.org or you can send it in the mail if you would like to do that as well like April did. It was really awesome to get that. It was a great surprise and made my day. Um, and um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started now. We haven't really started. We were just talking about what art supplies we need. Um, and now we are going to move into our lesson about Art Deco, and then we will move um, into our art project after that. So let's get started. Let's start today off with a bang, and um, you know, it's the last day, but it's going to be a great one. So let's, let's start learning. So let me open up my picture. Actually, I'm not going to open up my picture at first. First, I just want to talk about um, Art Deco. So it's like this decorative style um, of art that started about 1908, but it really kind of took off um, at the end of World War I. And um, it was just like, like really decorated and like really pretty patterns and designs and um, kind of like dripping with gold and color and it was just like very bright and vibrant. Um, this pattern behind me um, has, you can kind of see like all these like geometric lines um, in this Art Deco pattern and their use of gold and putting it on black kind of gives it this really like high contrast. Um, and so this art period is, uh, it was about a hundred years ago, almost exactly, 
Um, and so it's kind of cool because we're in like 2020 and this was um, 1920. So um, it's kind of fun to think about that. This is a hundred years ago. Um, and so this is, uh, the characteristic features of, it was just like an admiration of like modern uh, tools and machines. And so like at this time and period of history, they were switching a lot of um, building materials and things like that from doing them by hand to doing them in factories with machines. And this style of art took advantage of um, machines and kind of saw the beauty that they could create with bulk manufacturing of things and being able to repeat and make everything perfect and precise. Um, so it was really cool. And um, and so someone's saying they can't hear me. Can everybody else hear me? I can, I can hear you all. I can see you. Put it in the, um, if, if you have any questions, put it in the Q&A and um, and yeah, I'm just going to check on my microphone really fast. Um, I think it's working. working. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Everyone can hear and see me. Good. Okay. So we'll keep going. Um, so Art Deco but was also a reflection of the past. So if any of you were in my previous webinars when we talked about um, ancient Greece um, or ancient Egypt, um, this would be kind of a fun class for you because at this time in 1920, uh, it was actually um, 1922, November 26, 1922 um, was the day that they first opened King Tut's tomb. And so that was the day that they first discovered all of his treasures and his um, sarcophagus, which is his coffin, and all of this beautiful um, art that was buried with him. Um, so that, that was in 1922. And something else that was happening um, over in, in Rome, the city of Pompeii had been discovered a few hundred years earlier but they were excavating it newly, which means they were like digging it up newly and um, discovering mosaic tiles on the floor. And they were discovering artwork that had been covered by dirt for hundreds and thousands of years. Um, so it was kind of an exciting period of discovery of the past. And so these, these things really influenced Art Deco and they really set a, a tone and like a feeling. And so when you went into King Tut's uh, tomb, it was kind of like dripping with gold, like everything was gold and everything was shiny. And um, when you went into this uh, ancient city of Pompeii, Pompeii that had been actually covered by a volcano, um, and, and you started unearthing all of these, they had these like beautiful, paintings on the wall that were bright and colorful and they had these amazing tile floors that had all these like really cool patterns and I've got some pictures of this so I'm going to pull those up now all right so let me pull up my pictures and skip this one okay so this is uh, King Tut's tomb and you can see all of these uh, Egyptian paintings on the wall and you can see uh, the sarcophagus of King Tut there inside of that, the, this giant kind of coffin thing. Um, and something I really want you guys to pay attention as we're going forward, when you're looking at the ancient Egyptian art is look at kind of the shapes of their headdresses and their hats um, and just kind of like the patterns, how they use like repeating stripes and repeating kind of semicircle necklaces and some of the colors too. Like you notice there's these reds and there's these greens um, and there's these like bright white colors and there's a lot of gold, a lot, a lot of gold. Um, and so this was something that influenced the Art Deco period. And let's go forward another picture. And so here are just some close up 
pictures of um, inside of King Tut's tomb. And these are like all his treasures that were in there. So um, on the bottom left, there's all these pictures of all this treasure and valuable items and golden furniture and things that was buried with him. And so it was just very gold and it was very um, shiny and beautiful. And um, so they had just discovered this in 1920s. Um, and then you see this chair that he was buried with and just kind of some of the patterns, like there's this big winged bird um, on the back rest of that chair. It's a little bit small um, in this picture. And then also there, you know, was the, the mummy itself and all of these beautiful decorative patterns that were on the mummy and they were all inlaid. Um, those are like special uh, precious valuable stones and there's like reds and turquoises and blacks and of course lots and lots of gold. Um, and then over here on the right is a, a and a mask that was put over the mummy's face inside of the tomb. And you just can see again, like these like turquoise and red and gold and the repeating striped patterns. And um, on the bottom right, that is a little bit of a, a chariot. Um, and so that is kind of a close up picture of one of the sidewalls of like a, a horse drawn chariot. And it has all of these precious stones and gold and patterns. And so this is all um, several thousand years ago. So King Tut um, died in uh, 1324 uh, before the common era. So that was like 3000 um, 340 some years ago is when he died and all of this stuff was buried with him and he was buried in um, he was buried in a, a tomb that was sealed completely with rocks and so all of his stuff actually survived really well because um, you know there was no rain there was no weather that it was just preserved and it was um, kept very safe. And he died pretty young. Um, I think, yeah, he died pretty young as he was like a king, a pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Um, so, and now I'm going to show you this next one is an art deco piece. It's a print that was made by an art deco artist named Etra. And um, he was a Russian born artist, but he did art in France and he was a designer um, and just an artist in general. And uh, this is a picture that he made. And I think um, I, I would love to have you guys put in the comments anything that you notice that's maybe very similar to um, the, some of the artwork that was found in King Tut's tomb. And this is a piece that was made um, in the Art Deco period. Um, so this is an Art Deco piece. This is uh, about a hundred years old, whereas King Tut's things were several thousand years old. Um, and, you know, so they had just discovered all of uh, King Tut's uh, valuable items and this artist was inspired by everything that he was making. And someone said that like the wings yeah you can kind of see the wings on the back of that chair um kind of look like the wings or it's almost like a giant peacock tail that he gave her um he kind of drew her kind of looks like a peacock but it's also drawn angrily angrily yeah like with straight lines and patterns um that's a good observation uh, the colors are very bright and the lines are very precise. Yes, and that's something you definitely saw um, in uh, the Art Deco period and also in the ancient Egypt um, art. Um, good. <laughs> and the patterns, the hat. Yes, these are all things that look very Egyptian. Good. The hat. <laughs> A bird a little bit yeah all right good so now we're going to move on forward and this next piece so this is um, the ancient city of Pompeii that I was telling you about so this is an ancient Roman city 
that they were also digging up around the same time. Um, so on the left hand side, that is a, a rendering or like a um, an idea of what Pompeii must have looked like. Um, and on the right, that's a photograph of the actual place. Um, so in, in Pompeii, they had all these beautiful um, paintings on the wall and all of these beautiful tiled floors with these patterns on them. Um, if you look at the rendering on the left, you kind of see like these squiggly line borders. Um, it's called a meandering pattern. And you also see there's this kind of like circular flower shape on the floor too. Um, all of that is made with tiles. But then if you look at the, the walls, there's all these like little floral leaves and little shapes and little pictures and lots of colors. Um, where is Pompeii? Pompeii is in uh, Italy. Um, it's one of the ancient cities of, uh, of the Roman Empire. Okay, so this city um, was covered with volcanic ash in um, the year of 79. So that was almost 2000 years ago. And so, um, and in this time period in 1922, um, some scientists were going in and they were starting to dig up um, everything that was underneath the ash that happened before, um, before the volcano eruption had happened. And so they were uncovering and discovering all of this art from this time period. And, you know, if, if I was, you know, if someone discovered a, a, an ancient Egyptian tomb today, or they were discovering a city like Pompeii, um, they probably definitely would have it in the news and it'd be in the newspaper and there'd be pictures and drawings of what, what this all looked like and they would um, be spreading them all around and it would just be like what everyone was talking about. Um, so just imagine you're a person living in this time period and you're getting to see all of this stuff that hasn't been seen for thousands of years. Um, it might inspire you too to um, make some art about it. So this next picture, um, so on the left, that is a, a pathway or a walkway in the ancient city of Pompeii. And um, you can see kind of these really cool tile patterns. And then here on the right, that is the lobby of the Fisher Building in downtown Detroit, Michigan. And it was designed by an artist architect, um, Gizia Mayrotti. And you can really see just how they use so much color and so much pattern. And there's a lot of bronze in there that kind of looks like gold. And look at all the tiles on the floor. Um, there's just a lot of in influence here. Does anyone see anything in here that looks either Egyptian or um, something that maybe came from Pompeii? I want to put that in the Q&A. Anything that you think, you know, wow, that looks like this old thing or, you know, that kind of took these old ideas and made it something new and something fresh. The ceiling, yeah, the ceiling is really cool. Um, I really love this ceiling. It's so beautifully done. I like the eagles. Oh yeah, someone sees the eagles. Um, and if you look at their wings, they look a lot like that, um, like that back of the Egyptian, uh, the Egyptian chair. Um, yes, the patterns on the floor. Yes, the patterns on the floor look very similar um, to stuff that you would have seen in Pompeii. Um, All right. That's where James is from. Yes, James is from Michigan. You're right, Aubrey. <laughs> All right. The bronze looks like gold. It's so beautiful. It really, really is. Yeah. And so Michigan, uh, Detroit was a, an important city at this time. They were doing a lot of manufacturing. Um, and so it was a big bustling city. And um, there's a lot of Art Deco buildings there. There's a lot of Art Deco buildings actually um, all across America. Um, I'm going to show you a few of them today, but they're also all over in uh, the western side of Europe. 
And so Art Deco kind of started in France and then it moved outward. And it was started by decorators who were, um, a lot of architects who were designing in interiors of buildings and making art. Yeah. How did they paint the ceiling? Um, I don't actually know how they did the ceiling, but I'm sure they had a lot of scaffolding and it was a lot of work. <laughs> All right, so this next one, I think I skipped, skipped a couple. Okay, let me go back. All right, so this next building, this is called the Eastern Columbia Building and it's a 13 story building and it's in downtown Los Angeles in California. And this building was designed by an architect named Claude Villeman. And after he, they started construction, it only took uh, nine months to uh, build. And it was, it's in what's called the theater district of downtown Los Angeles. And um, at the time it was a department store. And um, so kind of like, like um, it was like the headquarters of this department store, the Eastern Columbia department store, um, which is no longer around, um, but this was their headquarters. So they had their offices here and they had, you could go shopping. Um, and then after Eastern Columbia department store closed down, this turned into an office building. And then later they renovated it again. And now it is an apartment building. Um, but there's actually shops and things in the bottom floor. And I used to walk by this building a lot when I used to live in Los Angeles. I worked near, really near it. Um, someone's saying that the, the ancient wall looks Greek. And April said she's been here. That's awesome. Yeah, if you live in California and your your parents are up for it, you could drive by and look at this building. This building's really cool. It has a rooftop swimming pool. Um, and it's got kind of all these big like fan patterns, it's got all this gold, it's got all these straight lines and patterns. Um, this kind of like turquoise terracotta, um, for me, kind of feels very, um, the color scheme feels very much like something that um, I saw in King Tut's tomb. Um, let's see, does anyone have any other? It, it's pretty, it is very pretty, yeah. Yeah, so there's a rooftop pool, pool. So if you look at the picture on the left, you can see there's one level that kind of has some green uh, plants on it. And I'm pretty sure that that's the pool level. Yeah, the columns, yeah, the straight up and down, all those lines, um, the shapes, like the triangles. And also look at the, the floor of the lobby there as you're getting ready to go in, um, the, the different colored, um, Floor, the floor patterns and the bright colors, um, I think is also something that looks very inspired. Yeah, so this is an art deco building and it was, they finished building it in 1930. Let's go forward now. So now this is another picture of a room in Pompeii um, on the left. So that is a floor um, in Pompeii and it, it's kind of got this like cool meandering pattern and this like black and white geometric um, pattern. And on the right, this is a, a, a lobby of a hotel. And you can see it's got a very similar pattern. Um, so the squares look very much the same, yeah. Okay, so here's the next one. So this is one of the walls from Pompeii and I just wanted to show you this just because look at the fan shape that's kind of up above these people and also look above the fan. See those little like, it's almost like fish scales or seashells kind of all carefully um, laid out next to each other and it's like this repeating pattern um, and, and it's just like perfect and precise and it's got these repeating um, patterns that go over and over and over again of these little scaly shapes. Um, and also, it's just this painting's got a lot of um, decorative designs and straight lines. Um, and this, this thing on the right, it's a sunrise motif that's on top of a door of the Wisconsin Gas Building. Um, and so this is a, a 
mosaic or this is a painting in Pompeii and this is a art piece that is above a door in um, Wisconsin in the Wisconsin gas building so you can definitely see some inspiration here um, yeah all right so that that's just kind of a fun one that you could really start to see the inspiration is almost very literal to a degree um, but they kind of have some like sharper pointier edges that maybe feel a little bit more Egyptian All right good so we're gonna go to the next one okay so here is some more um, art of King Tut and so on this one I want you to pay attention to this kind of uh, bouquet of plants that he has in front of him. Um, there are these like reeds um, that have these kind of fan-like flowers that are growing on them. Um, and there's someone behind him fanning him with these flowers. And um, just kind of pay attention to the shapes of those flowers and kind of how they look. And if you go look over to um, the right hand side, there's uh, a couple of people and they are picking these plants and um, just look at the up and down straight lines and um, just kind of the repeating patterns. Um, and in the bottom right, that is uh, the Egyptian goddess Bastet. And she was the goddess um, that had a faces of a cat and a body of a human. And um, she was worshiped uh, by the Egyptians. But I, I picked this picture because I was looking at her chair and just kind of the, the stripes and the lines and the repeating patterns um, of everything and just the color scheme too. It reminded me of the Eastern building in Los Angeles. Um, it, all these colors kind of reminded me of the ceiling of the lobby of the Fisher building in Michigan. Um, so there's just a lot of inspiration that was pulled from, whoopsies, too fast, sorry. Okay, so now I wanna show you um, this pic this picture so this is a door on the left this is an art deco door and um, I, I kind of want to open it up to you guys um, to tell me what you see that's either Egyptian or um, ancient Roman um, and so on the right is a bunch of wallpaper patterns that are art deco wallpaper patterns and on the left that is a door um, so go ahead and put it in the key Q and a um, and let me know when you see something that looks like something we just looked at from these ancient cities. The fan, the flower, yep, the fan flower, yes. And the way it's repeating um, in the wallpaper. The door definitely feels Egyptian, yes. But it also may be a little bit um, from uh, Pompeii. The, they kind of had that, that seashell pattern too. Some of the patterns look like flowers. Yes, good. Flowers, good. The fan, fan shapes, yes. All right, now I'm, I'm gonna go back and I wanna look at um, the Egyptian art just a little bit more. I'm just gonna look at the way that they used um, all these geometric shapes like rectangles and stripes and triangles. Um, just kind of take, take this in for a minute. Um, and then I'm going to go back to that, that, and I want you to look and see what else you can see. All right, so what else do you see here that looks maybe a little bit um, Egyptian? Milo is asking when Pompeii was, Pompeii, bleh, Pompeii was destroyed, and it was destroyed in the year 79 um, when it, a volcano erupted and uh, ash rained down and covered the city. Hot ash. The triangles, the stripes in the door, good. Good job, Evelyn. Good job. The seashells, the triangles, good job. These are great answers. You can see reflections in the door. Yeah, you can see whoever is taking the picture of it. Kind of a funny thing whenever you try to take a picture of something that's got glass. The leaf shape also looks Egyptian. Good. Good. 
All right, so Art Deco is really fun because it's got all these patterns and all these repeating patterns and shapes. So um, it's a really fun period of art because of just the amount of decoration and work that they put into it. The block pattern from Pompeii on the right. Good, you, saw, you spotted that one. Nice job, Myla. The blue one looks sort of Egyptian and sort of French. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, this is, this is 1920, so there was a lot to pull inspiration from. The shape, the stripes in the flower fans, yes. Good. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and move into our art project now. So I went ahead and pulled up um, a few different patterns here. Um, we're going to try a couple of simpler ones if and we'll just do as many as we can to have as many as we have time for. So this upper right hand um, um, one with the pink and kind of the white lines. So I think that's the one I'm going to start with. You can go ahead and start with whichever pattern kind of inspires you. I think the upper right and the bottom left are probably the simpler patterns. You can just use your ruler to make these shapes. Um, but then they get a little bit more complicated with the different details. And something that can be really useful when you're making a pattern like this is to make yourself um, draw one and make it perfect and then kind of make a stencil out of it. And then you can use your stencil to repeat and copy the pattern over and over and over again. Um, can you draw one big one? Yeah, so I kind of put some patterns here in the middle that are just one single um, picture and that don't have the repeating pattern. So over to you on which one you would like to draw. Um, feel free to use different colors of paper, um, get creative, and we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to work for a little bit. I want you guys to work for a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, put it in the Q&A. And let's see kind of what we can come up with. So I'm just going to start with a black paper, and I'm going to use a white uh, colored uh, crayon on mine. It's actually a charcoal pencil, but it works a little bit more like a crayon. I'm just starting by drawing kind of just a, a grid, kind of like a checkered board. And I'm just using my ruler to help me make that shape. So I'm just going to draw bunch of straight lines and make it look like a checkerboard to start. <laughs> you can choose any of these um, pictures that you are interested in drawing and go ahead and get started on making an Art Deco pattern. An art deco is something that um, every now and again uh, art continues to have a comeback and art deco is something that is still kind of a popular design to use. It's just very classic and very beautiful and pretty to pick out. All right, so now I've got like a checkerboard. I'm going to exit out of my um, share just to kind of show you what I'm doing. So first I just drew this checkerboard shape and now I'm going to draw in the fan pattern, okay? So that's what I'm doing. If you would like to tell me about what you're working on in the Q&A chat box, that's awesome. <laughs>
after I drew my grid, now I'm just drawing the patterns in. Um, I'm just doing my best to be precise um, with my pattern. So I'm not worrying too much about being perfect because this is uh, just for fun and we're all learning this new art style here. So practicing is good. We love practicing. If everyone was perfect the first time, everyone would be, nobody would want to do it. It wouldn't be ex interesting or exciting when someone got good. So just keep practicing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, someone's doing a heart pattern. I can't do it because I don't have gel pens or colored Sharpies. Angelica, you can just use a pencil on white paper or a colored paper. Um, you don't, you don't have to use gel pens if you don't have them. That's okay. Um, someone's doing the black and gold one. Ooh, exciting. That's a fun one. They must have a, a gel pen or um, crayons even will work a lot of times and you can get metallic crayons. Mm -hmm. Somebody else is doing the black and gold. Cool. Yeah, so I'm doing the pink one, but I'm just doing it with uh, black and white. But I liked that pattern. It seemed like a fun, simple pattern to test out or share with you. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting close being done with the little piece that I'm working on. And then I might try one of the other patterns because we still have time today. So while we're sitting here drawing, um, I do want to remind you that the grand finale of all of our classes is this afternoon um, at 2.30. So, and it's, it's being done webinar style as well. So if you want to go ahead and register so that you can join in and watch that grand finale, um, it should be a fun one to, to see. So I've been overhearing some of the plans for what what's going to be happening in the grand finale and it's going to be fun so that is my art deco pattern i'm going to go ahead and exit my screen share here and show you what i did and that you can see. So there's my kind of art deco. So I just kind of cut it smaller. I didn't make it the full size of the paper, but I wanted to see if I can't get some of these other patterns that start working. Someone's making their own pattern. Oh, that's awesome. Super awesome. And um, someone is trying the blue and yellow seashell. Lauren is asking if all the teachers will be at the finale. Well, you'll have to tune in and find out. I know they have a lot of planes. Um, I'm going to go back into my screen share so that you can keep looking at the, um, the patterns. If you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of this now um, so that you can have it for after the class is over, that would be a really good idea. Um, I don't want you guys to, to lose it, especially if you're working on something or if you wanted to try something that you haven't had time to do, we've got 
um, about three minutes left in our class. Um, and then, and then, yeah, so go ahead and if you've got some more designs you would like to try and make, take a screenshot so that you don't lose your inspiration. Now I'm doing a, I'm using my silver marker and I'm going to do the bottom, the bottom right, the black and gold one, but I'm using silver on black because my gold wasn't showing up as well as I wanted it to. And for this one, I'm using my triangle ruler. Helps me get my straight shapes a little easier. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Okay. My pattern is a heart rainbow. So awesome. Well, this has been a lot of fun. And um, like I said at the beginning, it is. Uh, today is our last day of classes, and so we have really enjoyed doing this. I have really enjoyed doing all these free classes, and um, I, I, it's, it's a sad uh, feeling that they're over, but it's been a lot of fun to remember all of the fun classes that we've been able to have together and all the learning we've been able to do together. So... Um, Thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for learning about art history with me and making beautiful art with me. Um, if you would like to send some of your art to me to see, you can email it to events at delphian.org um, um, and I will get those emails and I can respond back to you as well. Um, thank you all for joining me and I We'll maybe see you at uh, 2.30. So join in for the grand finale, okay? All right. Bye. Bye.